Want to support the channel? Go check out my Patreon. There's perks like access to videos early and plenty more rewards. Every contribution is appreciated as it keeps me making great content for you guys. For more information, go to patreon.com slash Macwell. Next up, our third match in the Europa League, Dundee United. 32 minutes in, Leicester City on the attack. We have our backup squad once again because this is Dundee United. But here, Damari Gray, no one's going to close him down. And that's in the back of the net. 1-0 already, just like that. Shockingly, it wasn't until the 64th minute later on when we score another goal. Here, it's Ayose Perez as he goes into the edge of the box, passing it to Dewsbury Hall. It's off the defender, but then it's Iheanacho. Whoa! I need a replay on that, please. That is Pushkas worthy, but would it even matter? It'd probably just lose to a solid curler. Definitely not salty about 2018 still. Anyways, attack once again for Leicester City. Damari Gray, who's been the star player in this match so far, to Iheanacho. Dennis Pratt off the bench, and that's 3-0. And in the second half, we just piled on the attacks. It's now Iheanacho to Dennis Pratt once again, across the keeper, into that bottom right corner, 4-0 to Leicester. And it was time to just tuck this match in bed, even though, well, it already was in bed. It's probably just sleeping already. But here it's Damari Gray once again, top right corner 5-0 to Leicester City that's really gonna help our goal differential in the Europa League and speaking of the Europa League here's the table after three matches we're halfway through and we're top of the table so far an operation get a clean sheet in the Prem is still ongoing Next up, West Ham. Opportunity for Leicester to attack. It's Wilfred Ndidi passing it to Yuri Tielemans. Finding a lovely ball to Cengiz Under on the wing. And now Under sees some players running in. It's Adria Pedrosa from way out. And he just misses the net. Here come West Ham on the attack now. It's Manuel Lanzini. No one really closing in on him. But he passes it to Antonio. Back to Lanzini. It's blocked by Johnny Evans. Which could start up the counter attack for Leicester City. Yuri Tielemans out to Jamie Vardy. And now Jamie Vardy passing it to Cengiz Under, Under then back to Vardy, then Vardy just passing it back to Tielemans. Tielemans with a lovely ball to James Madison, and James Madison picks out Jamie Vardy, some lovely Leicester football, and that is 1-0 off a brilliant counter-attack, and could this possibly be another three points? But West Ham had other ideas, as it's Fornals receiving the throw and passing it to Suchek. Suchek could pass it to Antonio, but brings it to Cullen, now it's to Antonio, and now it's Bowen off the post. We get lucky there. Nearly 70 minutes played, chance for Leicester City off Harvey Barnes, bringing it to James Madison. Now back to Harvey Barnes, who then just drops it back to James Madison. It's blocked, and then it's saved by the keeper. West Ham makes more advances towards the Leicester defense. It's Suchek, lovely ball to Cullen, and Cullen's gonna get closed down by Jonathan Ta here. He passes it to Celik, now to Bowen. Bowen then somehow finds Cullen, and luckily enough, Schmeichel intercepts the pass that could have easily resulted in a goal for West Ham. And now 83 minutes played, an attempt to possibly put this match to bed. It's Ayose Perez, just versus the keeper. Always failed to hit the target, and that could have been that. Ayose! Well, at least we finally got our first clean sheet. Once again, it's the Carabao Cup. I mean, I've said my opinions before, I'm not going to say them again. But to sum this one up, against Forest Green, we had Kieran Dewsbury Hall score twice in his first debut match for Leicester City. And on top of that, Ayose Perez gets his own as well. Oh look, a rare squad overview before a match. You're not Maxwell. Soyuncu is coming back though from injury, so thank God for that. Now, it's a perfect time for him to come back. No major team to really face up against, it's just Aston Villa. No offense, guys. 26 minutes in, it's Jamie Vardy passing it to James Madison. Now Yuri Tielemans out to Pereira on this wing. And Pereira could cross this in, which he does. And it's Jamie Vardy all by himself. A fantastic volley into the back of the net. Did I mention that Jamie Vardy has 11 goals already this season? He's insane. Moments later, another attack for Leicester City. It's Cengiz Under passing it to Yuri Tielemans. Now Tielemans with some space. And he finds out James Madison. And James Madison, easy finish. Two to Leicester City after just 32 minutes. And now 39 minutes played, Aston Villa on the attack. It's Jack Grealish passing it to John McGinn on the edge of the box. John McGinn nowhere to go, so he passes it back to Jack Grealish, who gets fouled in the box by Ricardo Pereira. And uh, <laughs> there goes our clean sheet. But hey, maybe Cashbush Michael can say, no, he, no, no, he can't. 
And just a goal down now, Aston Villa has the chance to possibly equalize. It's Jack Grealish to Traore, it's blocked by Soyuncu, and now it's John McGinn. It's to another player, but he's dispossessed by Jonathan Ta. And now, Leicester City once again on the counter-attack. Their one true way to score goals is now James Madison. Madison just being patient. He picks out Jamie Vardy in between the defenders, and Vardy ain't missing from there. It is 3-1 to Leicester City off a brilliant counter-attack once again. And boys, another three points. Just a bit later, a corner whipped in for Leicester City. It's headed right towards Ricardo Pereira, saved by the keeper, but then Jonathan Ta has got his first goal for Leicester City off a beautiful volley. 4-1. A really, really good result. Alright, boys, you know what time it is. It's time to play Let's Spot! The small little bug that was not noticed by a multi-billion dollar corporation. As you can see, my manager rating is low, and that is in part to do with this objective here. Now, I don't know what defines a player as from Europe, but I can guarantee you, I indeed did buy three players from Europe already. So, uh, if I get fired, <laughs> that, that would be kind of stupid. Oh, by the way, it's the end of the month, so here's a review of the table. Looking at it so far, we're getting there. We're very, very much slowly getting to the Champions League spot that we have been wanting. To round out the top six, it's Manchester City topping off the league, and then it's Spurs in second, third Chelsea, fourth Manchester United, fifth Liverpool, and then finally us in sixth. And now for our fourth match in the Europa League, it's Dundee United once again. Early chance for Leicester City already, it's Timothy Castagna leading this one. He passes it to Kalecci and Nacho, who really can't cross the ball, so he has to kind of backtrack. And now he's waiting for someone. It's target N'Golo Kante all by himself, who just attempts one from way out, and it's 1-0 to Leicester City through Mendy. I will not say that first name, because I know I'll screw it up, so we'll just call him target N'Golo Kante. And then just about 8 minutes later, another attempt for Leicester City to make it 2-0? Quite possibly. It's now Damari Gray. He could whip this one in, and it's a mistake by the defender, which Dewsbury Hall just capitalizes on. He gets another goal, his third in the episode, by the way. This man's 62 rated, and he's got three goals. But nonetheless, 2-0 to Leicester City. It looks like a comfortable win for us, boys. Leicester City again on the attack. It's Dewsbury Hall. Brilliant through ball to Iose Perez, who can just simply curl this one into the back of the net. 3-0 to Leicester City, and it's only been 40 minutes. Break here for Leicester City. It's James Justin. He's gonna get a nice ball to Damari Gray, and Damari Gray sees Kalecci and Nacho just in behind the defender, so he just brings it right to him, simple enough, and it's 4-0 to Leicester City. And finally, I promise this is the last one, it's Dennis Pratt, he finds Damari Gray, and Damari Gray is just gonna squeeze that one into the net, 5-0 to Leicester City, another brilliant match in the Europa League, and that is another 3 points, and I think that actually confirms that we will be at least advancing out of this group. Arsenal, Leicester on the offensive, it's Wilfred Ndidi passing it to James Madison, sees the run by Jamie Vardy, who finds some space but just misses wide. It's now Leicester once again through Wilfred Ndidi. He passes it to James Madison. Madison to Vardy and now Vardy just nowhere to really go with it so he brings it right back to Wilfred Ndidi. No one to get to that one and Wilfred Ndidi gets his first goal of the season. 1-0 to Leicester against Arsenal just like that. Ages later Arsenal on the offensive. It's now Xhaka. He passes it to Cedric and Cedric just not enough room to really cross it so he brings it back to Xhaka. Now a little nice lob to Cedric who lobs it off to Onisiwo and it's off the crossbar. How that didn't go into the net, I have no idea, but we got very lucky there. And Arsenal keeping us on our toes. We really just have not been effective in the second half whatsoever. It's Nicola Pepe just running in between the defenders because no one's going to close him down. Finally, Jonathan Todd just has to foul him. And this is a very dangerous area to give up a free kick. So could Arsenal score off this free kick? It's Willian to take it. It hits the crossbar and now it's Onisiwo. This game, man. And here comes another semi-difficult match against Wolves. Okay, I need to show you guys something real quick, actually. You might be wondering who this handsome fellow is. No, it's not Michael Bradley. It's actually Portuguese winger D Daniel Potence. You gonna make me act up. <laughs> you gonna make me do something I'm gonna regret.
Nonetheless, a chance here for Wolves. No, actually, it's Soyuncu with a great little interception, and he passes it right to James Madison. Now it's to Vardy. Tielemans just nowhere to really go with this, so he just brings it to Pereira. Now Pereira passing it to Cengiz Under, and Under with some space to possibly whip this one in, and who's going to find the end of that one? It's Jamie Vardy, 1-0 to Leicester City, and Jamie Vardy continues his scoring form, as I'm pretty sure in the last, like, seven matches he scored. And after that Arsenal match, it was like we were playing more no-nonsense midfield because we weren't giving out the ball as much. It's Jamie Vardy turning a defender and then he just turns on those little fire jets of his and tries to take the shot. It's saved by the keeper, but James Madison off the rebound makes it 2-0. Not much really happened in this match, so another three points for Leicester City and it's a vital set of three as we beat Wolves. Not to mention, first home clean sheet. <laughs> I know, it only took like till November. Second to last match in the Europa League. Volarenga. Here come Leicester City on the break. It's Damari Gray using that little bit of pace of his, turning on those fire jets. No one to even come towards him, and he finds the top right corner. 1-0 to Leicester City. Right before the end of the half, chance for Leicester City once again to possibly make it too. Dennis Pratt, nice little through ball to Ayose Perez. No one around him, and he's just going to curl it into the back of the net. 2-0 to Leicester City, just like that. Another three points, just like that. How many times will I say just like that? A billion. You can't stop me. Sheffield, United. Onward come Leicester City in just the third minute of the match. Jamie Vardy back to Wilfred Ndidi. Now it's James Madison. Yuri Tielemans flips it off to Jamie Vardy who just fires a bullet into the top left corner. The keeper had no chance on that. And Jamie Vardy isn't having just a party. It's a goddamn rager. Sheffield United clear out a ball but it only goes right to Soyuncu who intercepts it, passes it to Yuri Tielemans. Now it's James Madison, picks out Jamie Vardy all by himself. 2-0, a brace in just 20 minutes for Jamie Vardy. Here comes Sheffield United through Oli McBurney. A nice little bit of direct passing play through Sheffield United's attack. And it's Matteo Guendouzi who scores that goal for Sheffield United. But was this going to stop Leicester City's momentum? Oh god no. It's now Jamie Vardy. He passes it to Wilfred Ndidi who's been the starter of all these attacks. It's now Yuri Tielemans being a little patient as Jamie Vardy gets away from his defender and he just finds the back in the net once. Again, 3-1 to Leicester City. That is Jamie Vardy's first hat-trick I'm pretty sure after scoring, I don't know, like 12 bajillion goals. I, I, I don't even know how many he scored at this point. And that was a quick month. Now we're into December which is uh, what I like to call hell. You'll see why in a second. To round off the top six though, it's Manchester City still in first place, then Spurs second, Chelsea third, Liverpool now fourth, Manchester United fifth, then still us sixth place. Our next match is against Manchester United by the way, so it's a good chance to possibly overtake them in the table. So welcome to Old Trafford. This is a chance to possibly get some revenge on Manchester United and overtake them. We need to take this opportunity. And a good start for Leicester City, an attack already for them in the seventh minute. It's Ricardo Pereira to Cengiz Under, and now Under with some space to cross it in for James Madison, who just unluckily enough hits the top of the crossbar. And here come Manchester United through Bruno Fernandes, is now Rashford as he passes it to Luke Shaw. And Luke Shaw, just not really anything he can do but pass it right back to Rashford. And Rashford just sends Soyuncu for a hot dog and then finds the near post, back of the net for Manchester United. A brilliant bit of play by Marcus Rashford and we're down 1-0. Now here come Leicester City once again through Yuri Tielemans. Jamie Vardy, he passes it to Wilfred Ndidi. Now back to Yuri Tielemans. Tielemans just waits a little bit, finds Jamie Vardy and Vardy just too many steps and it's just saved easily by the keeper. Leicester City now through a corner by James Madison. It's whipped in but it's only headed right back to James Madison but we could still salvage an attack through this. It's now Harvey Barnes receiving it from James Madison to Wilfred Ndidi. Ndidi spots Jamie Vardy who's just gonna drill it past De Gea and it's one all here at Old Trafford. It's anyone's game now. Leicester continue this pressure on into the second half. It's Harvey Barnes. He passes it to Jamie Vardy. Nothing he can really do, so he lobs it all the way up to the opposite side of the pitch to Cengiz Under with some room to cross it in. It's Harvey Barnes on the end of it, but it's over the net. Leicester City once again on the attack, but Manchester United applying that pressure, and it's enough to force a mistake out of Wilfred Ndidi. It's Marcus Rashford being patient, waiting for someone in the box. He just can't find anyone, though. Then he finds Bruno Fernandes all by himself, but then Thank God for Kasper Schmeichel on that one. Momentum starts to shift Manchester United's way, and it's not looking pretty for us whatsoever. It's Richarlison, a three-on-four against the defense, but as you can see, the midfield's just taking their sweet old time, which means the defenders just have their backs towards goal, and that just gives Bruno Fernandes so much space. And now Bruno Fernandes, as he tries to pass it, but it's to Jonathan Ta, he's dispossessed, takes the shot by Fernandes, it's blocked, but then Richarlison, off the rebound, makes it 2-1, gives Manchester United the lead back, and that's just it. 
disheartening. Leicester weren't going to give up though. It's Jamie Vardy. He just hasn't been that effective in this match. He did score a goal, but ever since then, he just hasn't done much. But it's back to him. Now, Iose Perez by himself, but it's blocked by the defender by Luke King Shaw. Free kick for Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes to Paul Pogba, and it just kills off the game. 3-1 to Manchester United. We'll have to wait for our revenge. So remember when I called December hell? This is what I mean. Liverpool already on the offensive. It's Oxlade Chamberlain as he lobs it up to James Milner, heads it right back to Oxlade Chamberlain, then back to Milner, but luckily Jonathan Tosh is going to close him down. Then Milner passes it to Roberto Firmino. Roberto Firmino has really nothing to do with it, and then Milner gets a shot off and it's right at the keeper. So we got lucky there. But what's this? A counterattack. That's right. Liverpool's attacking and their pressing means it really favors our play style a lot, our counterattacking play style. And as you can see, Pedrosa finds hard. Harvey Barnes in behind Trent Alexander-Arnold and now Harvey Barnes just has a lot of space to run into into the box he goes drops it off to Jamie Vardy who just slides it past the keeper and just like that a little attack from Liverpool turns into a little goal for Leicester City and we're 1-0 up against the champions of England. And we honestly dominated this match. Liverpool had plenty of the possession, but did that matter at all? Look at how high their defense is playing. It's just way, way too high. I feel like FIFA just doesn't nail Liverpool's playing style at all, but James Madison with a chance, and somehow he managed to miss that. But with so much possession, Liverpool were bound to have attacks. It's Roberto Firmino. It's a great interception by Wilfred Ndidi, who played a vital role in this match. Vardy to Tielemans, and now Tielemans just getting past past Van Dyke like nothing ever happened and it's just him and the goalkeeper and I choke it I second guess the shot and I mess it up and now Liverpool have a chance to possibly come back great attack for Liverpool through Alexander Arnold this time around but he's dispossessed by Adria Pedrosa and now another counter attack for Leicester City it just seemed like we deactivated Liverpool's attack today but now it's Mendy to Barnes and Barnes passing it to Vardy and Vardy once again seeing the opening this time it's Wilfred Ndidi this time around and now Wilfred Ndidi versus the keeper he hits the post. And how we have not scored is beyond me, but it's Adria Pedrosa this time. He gets a bit lucky with that deflection, and now once again, he gets it to Wilfred Ndidi, who passes it to Vardy, and Vardy sees the run by Harvey Barnes, a brilliant ball to Harvey Barnes, and please, for the love of God, Harvey Barnes, just finish this match for sake, man! So many squandered chances, this match should be done by now, but Liverpool have another chance to possibly equalize it in the last minutes of the match, but it's Shaqiri, he crosses in for Roberto Firmino, but thank God for Kasper Schmeichel. He has been a little bit ineffective, but in the end, he still had those moments where he has brought many, many heroic saves into the picture. So, we win 1-0 against Liverpool, 3 points, it's a nice little recovery after that little game against Manchester United. We won't talk about that again, though. Next up we face Roma FC this match really doesn't mean that much because we've already won the group so no need for the detailed highlights but it wasn't until the second half when Leicester City would get their goal in this match it's now Kalecci Iannaccio receiving a great pass and now Kalecci just stops then drops it into the back of the net it's 1-0 to Leicester City but then Roma would come back in the 71st minute through Andrea Belotti now Dzeko Dzeko gets a nice ball to Veritut and Jordan Veritut with a brilliant goal here off both sides of the goal post and we only get one point out of that match, but hey, it doesn't matter because we won the group. Here's confirmation of that as well. 16 points in this group. We actually had clean sheets, by the way. Yeah, I know. It, it's crazy. Leicester City, me, moi, getting clean sheets. <laughs> I could never even imagine. Crystal Palace. Before I go into this match, I just want to ask. How much did the person who designed these get paid? I used to design kits like four years ago for fun, and I can tell you right now... I know they were terrible, but this? Th this is being shown on television? This? <clears throat> Anyways, Crystal Palace dispossessed by none other than Wilfred Ndidi, the backbone of our midfield. It's Yuri Tielemans now receiving it from him. Now Yuri finds Cengiz Under on the wing. Cengiz does have some space too. Well, you know what to do. Cross it in for Jamie Vardy. We go into the second half where finally we get more chances. It's Vardy to James Madison. Madison picks out Harvey Barnes. And Harvey Barnes with a brilliant volley into the back of the net. His second goal of the season. And it's 2-0 just like that. Moments later, Crystal Palace on their own attack, but it's dealt with by Adria Pedrosa. And now it's Harvey Barnes passing it to Jamie Vardy. Vardy then picks out Harvey Barnes on the wing. And Harvey Barnes, once again, there's plenty of attackers running into the box, crosses it in. And it's none other than Jamie Vardy, who has once again scored. That is Jamie Vardy's 20th goal in the league. And it's only December. Max Meyer. That's 
Trey. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, how about that for a chip? Savor it! And now a corner for Leicester City. It's whipped in, and it's Ricardo Pereira to find his first goal of the season. 4-1 to Leicester City, a comfortable win for us. Well, I talk sh about the League Cup, and in return, I get to face their owners. Manchester City. Oh, boo-hoo, we're out of the Carabao Cup. Like, I give a f***. And another match against the top five side, Chelsea. Not entirely a bad start for us, though. Ten minutes in, we get the first chance of the match. It's Wilfred Ndidi to Jamie Vardy. Vardy takes the shot, and it's a good save by Kepa. Did I just say good save by Kepa? 16 minutes played, a throw in for Chelsea and an attack for them. It's Marcus Alonso as he inches towards Ricardo Pereira. A nice little pass to Rafa all by himself. And Ricardo Pereira just makes things even worse and gives up another penalty. And Timo Werner to get a goal here against Leicester City. Nope, it is Kasper Schmeichel with a brilliant save on this penalty. Chelsea once again on the attack, but Yuri Tielemans says no to that one. He passes it to Jamie Vardy. And now Vardy just waits for some players to run into their channels. And it's Harvey Barnes found with a a brilliant ball and Harvey Barnes is just gonna tap that one over Keppa and it is 1-0 to Leicester City a great little rebound after that penalty here come Chelsea once again as they try and make their advances towards the Leicester defense it's Timo Werner this time he passes it to Ziyech who could have honestly taken the shot but he passes it back to Conte and now Conte just fools Tielemans and then just takes the shot finds the back of the net equalizes it for Chelsea and it's game on we go into the second half with Leicester City with an early chance it's James Madison to Yuri Tielemans and Tielemans just uses his patience spots out Jamie Vardy in between the defenders and there it is another goal for Jamie Vardy 2-1 to Leicester City and things are looking bright for us fast forward to the 67th minute it's Adria Pedrosa passing into Wilfred Ndidi who then is just gonna pick out Jamie Vardy and Vardy is just gonna turn on the afterburners just get away from the defense and he finishes it into the back of the net his second goal of the game and it's Leicester's third it's looking real good for us but Chelsea once again on the attack it's George but he's dispossessed by Adria Pedrosa. Like I said before, he's looking better and better every single match. Is now Jamie Vardy to Madison. Harvey Barnes on this wing. And Harvey Barnes, what's he gonna do? He spots Jamie Vardy in behind the defense, and that is Jamie Vardy's second hat trick of the episode. I, I don't even know how many goals he has, but I'm pretty sure it's nearing 25 at this point. Chelsea just tirelessly piling on these attacks, even though they just haven't been successful at all. But it's now Timo Werner to Mason Mount. A nice little ball to Timo Werner. Take the shot it's saved by the keeper but now it's Jorginho he sends the defender for a hot dog and Jorginho finds the back of the nets but I mean that means nothing because we still win 4-2 another three points and it's a vital one against Chelsea all right time to play Leeds oh wow, wow. 